Yo, what's going on guys? Army Boy here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Division 2 build video. Hope you guys are staying healthy and safe out there. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys this build. This is a tank income repair build where with this build, we are just trying to, you know, keep ourselves alive um, when we're using income repairs, um, you know, with the tank build. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the build. So firstly, let's start off with the stats. We're sitting at 1.7 million armor, and we also have 113% crit hit damage. Now we can start off with the weapons for this build. I'm using the Police T821 SMG for this build. And this has the attribute damage to target out cover, which is multiplicative. And it also has a talent strain. Gain an additional 10% crit hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing, and it stacks up to five times. So at max stats, we're getting 50% crit hit damage. And that's it for this weapon. Now we can go over to my secondary weapon for this build. I'm using the exotic shotgun, the Scorpio. Now this has a talent septic shot. Shooting a target applies stacks of venom which lasts for 10 seconds. Increasing stacks and more severe debuffs to target. So one shot you can poison. Three in the sword, six again shot, and seven the target takes an additional 20% damage from all sources and stacks longer increase. So um you don't have to first you don't have to use this weapon for this build. This is um, mandatory. The only weapon I do suggest you use is a SMG, at least in that first slot. But for this, um, I only use this weapon just against like the more tankier enemies and also the bosses if I want to. So, yeah. Now that's it for the weapons. Now we can start with the gear we're using for this build. Let's first start off with the mask. I'm using three piece belts on the army for the 1% armor regen, 10% armor on kill, and also that 20% income repairs. Now this is rolled with create chance and create damage and every piece of gear on this build is also rolled with that. And we have income repair mods on this build as well. So we have it modded on our mask, chest piece, and backpack. And now we go on to the chest piece. I'm using one piece of cloth concern for the 10% SMG damage. Now this has the talent obliterate critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for 5 seconds and this stacks up to 25 times. So at max stats we're getting 25% weapon damage and now we go down to the holster for this build this is our second piece of belts and armory giving us that 10 percent armor on kill and now we go over to our um, knee pads this is our third piece of belts and armory which is giving us that 20 percent um income repairs and now we go up to the gloves we are using the one piece gilligard for the five percent total armor and um this is what's helping us be much tankier with this build and now we go up to the backpack we're using the exotic backpack, the Memento. Now this has the talent kill confirm. Enemies you kill drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provide both a short and long term buff. The first of which scale with the number of core attributes equipped in last 10 seconds. So for every red core attribute you're getting 5% weapon damage. For every blue one we're getting 10% bonus armor. And for every yellow one we're getting 5% skill efficiency. And also for every trophy collected you're getting additional 1% weapon damage. 1% skill efficiency and 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds. And this goes to a maximum of 30 stacks. So at max stacks, we're getting 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and also 3% armor regeneration. And um, let's first look at our core attributes and what we have. So we have two red um, core attributes, five blues, and one yellow. So with the um, short term bus, we're going to be getting 10% um, weapon damage, 50% bonus armor, and also 5% um, skill efficiency. And that's it for the Memento Backpack. Now we can start off with the um, skills we're using for this build. So I'm using the um, Fixer Drone as my skill to like heal me. Um, you could definitely use the Chem Launcher or the um, Hive if you want to. But I'm using a Fixer Drone just so I can... Um, so you can just follow me around and I don't have to do nothing. I just have to press one button and it'll just follow me around and just heal me. So yeah. But this is definitely not the best, like it doesn't give the most um, healing compared to the other two. But um, this honestly is good enough for me at least. Like if you want to, you can definitely switch over to the either heals. So yeah. So um, this is giving me 31,000 um, HP per second, which is pretty okay. This is uh, every second, so that's, that's not bad at all. We also have two skill tiers, so we are also using the, um, the technician specialization tree as well which is what's giving us that extra skill tier and that's it for um this skill now we can go over to my next skill i'm using i'm using the crusader ballistic shield now i'm using this just so i could be you know have a, a extra line of defense and this has 4.7 million health on it now this is pretty good 
but enemies do sometimes shred through my um my shield so i do end up you know having to need that um you know the the drone so yeah at least in the beginning sometimes like once i start to kill more enemies then i'll i start doing more damage with the build and then i'll be able to kill them before they break my shield but yeah um i also have two shield mods on here and also a holster regeneration mod on here and that's it for the um skills now we start off with the stats so let's first start off with the weapon stats. My SMG is sitting at 120,000 weapon damage. We have 60% crit hit chance. And once again, 113% crit hit damage. But remember, with strain fully active, we'll be actually sitting at 163% crit hit damage. And now we go over to my um, Scorpio. It's doing 750,000 damage, 50% um, crit hit chance, and 111% crit hit damage. Not bad. So yeah, and now we can go down to my defense for this build. Once again, seeing at that 1.7 million armor, we also have 10% armor on kill. That's from the two-piece um, belts on armory, and also we have 1% armor regen without any buffs like, active. But with the memento, we're actually sitting at 4% armor regeneration. And also, once again, um, actually not once again, but we are actually with this build, we're sitting at 76.1% income repairs. So that's from the three-piece belts on armory, and also the three mods I have on this build. So um. Yeah, it's pretty much for the build. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope this was informative and help you guys out. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.